Hello everyone in the multiverse and beyond. This is your friend forever, Evan LeFevre, with a very important video. Today, my, this video might be one of the most important videos you will ever see. I am shooting this video on Martin Luther King Day, okay? And today we are going to be discussing the fact that in 1999, there was a trial where Martin Luther King's family investigated the murder of Martin Luther King Jr. It was the only trial for the murder of Martin Luther King Jr. to ever happen. And in that trial in 1999, the United States government, multiple government agencies of the United States government were found guilty in a court of law of murdering Martin Luther King Jr. Okay? They were found guilty in a court of law in 1999. That's right. Our government, the United States of America's government, was found guilty in a court of law of assassinating and murdering Martin Luther King Jr. Okay? The man they said murdered him was not the one who murdered him, okay? He was shot by a sniper, all right? A trained professional, all right? Multiple government agencies were found guilty in a court of law for the murder of Martin Luther King Jr., all right? They planned the assassination and they carried out the assassination. Multiple government agencies. They were proven in a court of law of murdering Martin Luther King Jr. Can you believe this? Do you believe what I'm telling you right now? It is the truth. And no one's talking about it because the government is suppressing this knowledge. The media isn't covering this case. This court case happened in 1999. Do you understand how long ago that was? And still, no one's talking about it, okay? But I am here to change that, all right? It is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, all right? And a lot of people are gathering together to peacefully protest to find justice for the murder of Michael Brown and the murder of Eric Garner. And there's a new movement the Black Lives Matter movement that has been gaining a lot of momentum in the, in the months following Michael Brown's murder and Eric Garner's murder. Okay? And if we can gather in numbers to peacefully protest for the murder of Michael Brown and the murder of Eric Garner, don't you think that we should be gathering together to peacefully protest for the murder of Martin Luther King Jr.? I mean, he was the mo one of the most peaceful, revolutionary leaders of in recent history on this planet, in this country. And our government murdered him because he was a threat to their control, to their power. Okay? So they straight up murdered him. They killed Martin Luther King Jr. Do you have any idea how... S how messed up that is, how evil that is, how wrong that is. Are we just going to sit by and let our government get away with murdering Martin Luther King Jr.? I'm serious. Are we going to sit around and let our government continue to get away with murdering Martin Luther King Jr.? And then our President Obama signs the National Defense Authorization Act into law, giving the United States government the legal right to murder their own citizens without a trial and assassinate them, just like they did Martin Luther King Jr. So not only did they get away with assassinating Martin Luther King Jr., but now Obama and all of the other people in control of our government have signed the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, into law that gives them the legal right to do it again. So if any other revolutionary leader should rise to power, they can assassinate them. 
even if they're a U.S. citizen. Okay? So we can't just stand by and let this continue without not saying anything about it. Okay? We have to gather together and get up in arms and say, no, the buck stops here. Black lives matter. And guess what? Martin Luther King Jr.'s life mattered. And our government, the United States of America's government, was found guilty in a court of law of murdering Martin Luther King Jr., okay? Do you understand how severe that is? How important that is that we stand up for him? Don't you think Martin Luther King Jr. is worth gathering together and protesting for? We should be having millions of people gathering outside of the White House right now in memory of Martin Luther King and saying, no, we're not going to let you guys get away with murdering him. And no, we're not going to allow you to continue to murder people. Okay? Because if they're willing to murder Martin Luther King, who else are they willing to murder? If you're going to allow them to get away with murdering Martin Luther King Jr., one of the most revolutionary, peaceful uh, leaders of our time, okay, a man who is ready to change the world and had his life cut short by our government, we could still have Martin Luther King Jr. with us alive today. And we might be living in a lot better world than we are today if he was still alive. But no. Our government killed him. They were found guilty of murdering Martin Luther King Jr. Do you understand that? Please, please listen to me and research. I'll leave a link below. I'll leave some links in the comments section below and in the description bar below talking about the trial that went on in 1999 where multiple government agencies of our government were found guilty in a court of law of murdering Martin Luther King Jr. Assassinating him, killing him, ending his life. Okay? You can't kill Martin Luther King Jr. as if he was Osama Bin Laden. You can't do that. You can't murder Martin Luther King Jr. But guess what? Our government did, and they got away with it. Alright? So... We need to stand up for Martin Luther King today. We can't let him be murdered in vain. We cannot say, oh, it's okay. They murdered him. We have Martin Luther King Day. So it's okay that he was murdered. No, it's not okay, okay? We need to stand up united together peacefully. And we need to change this world. Because that's what Martin Luther King would want. We cannot allow him to be murdered in vain. We cannot allow his the people that murdered him to continue to get away with murdering people like him. Okay? Because if they're willing to murder Martin Luther King Jr., they're willing to murder anybody. Okay? Do you understand that? How important it is? Alright? This is very serious, so please... Please take this information to heart. Tell everyone you know. Tell everyone that you will hear you the truth that the United States government was found guilty of assassinating and murdering Martin Luther King Jr. in 1968. And that is what happened, okay? That is the truth, all right? And if you are willing to stand up for the murder of Michael Brown, if you are willing to stand up for the murder of Eric Garner, then you should be willing to stand up for the murder of Martin Luther King Jr. as well. Okay? If you can go and protest outside of police stations, if you can go and protest and stand outside in the middle of freeways, you should be able to go to the White House and stand outside the White House for Martin Luther King Jr. Okay? There should be millions of us out there today as we speak, protesting that Martin Luther King Jr.'s life mattered. That his life matters. And our government took that life from us. The United States government robbed the world of Martin Luther King Jr., okay? 
not only one of the most important black men of all time, but one of the most important human beings of all time on this planet. Okay? He was a revolutionary, peaceful leader. And they didn't want him to be alive. They considered him to be the most threatening black guy in the, on the planet. And they murdered him because of it. Okay? And we cannot con let them continue to get away with murder. Alright? Not only has our government murdered innocent children in Pakistan and all over the place, Libya, I mean, all over the place, Pakistan, Libya, they bombed innocent children. Our government has terrorist attacks under their belt. They have been terrorizing other countries by dropping bombs on innocent children for years now. Okay, I have videos to prove it, to show you these children after they've been bombed. And half of their face is missing. And some, some of them have half their body missing because the United States government bombed these innocent children in terrorist attacks. Are we going to let this government that murdered Martin Luther King Jr., the same government that murdered all of these innocent children in all these different countries, are we going to continue to allow them to murder innocent people in this country? Are we going to continue to allow them to murder innocent people around the world? We have to stand up for Martin Luther King Jr. Today is the day. Okay, every day should be the day we stand up for Martin Luther King Jr. All right, because his life matters. And it was taken from us by the United States government. It was proven in a court of law. Okay, so please hear my message and let's do something about this. We can stand up together peacefully peacefully to change this country and this world for the better so that our government can't get away with murdering people like Martin Luther King Jr. So they can't murder any more innocent people any longer. Because United States citizens, the American citizens, we do not believe in murder as a solution for our problems, okay? So we are going to have a peaceful revolution on this planet and that starts with standing up for the murder of Martin Luther King Jr. by our government. All right? They murdered him. All right? And we cannot allow them to continue to get away with it. All right? So this is your friend forever, Evan LaFavor, bringing you the truth yet again. So thank you so much for watching this video. And please, let's stand up united together peacefully and do something about this in the memory of Martin Luther King Jr. who was murdered by the United States government okay and we cannot allow this government or anybody else to murder peaceful revolutionary people and leaders okay we cannot allow it to continue to happen thanks a lot for watching the video everyone and I will see you next video until then bye bye